What does DL stand for? Delayered. Hello, this is episode 14 of the DL. Not a whole lot has gone on since episode 13. Uh, I kind of took a little break off. I told you I was going to go to my grandma's for Thanksgiving during last episode, and that did happen. Uh, this is about all I filmed while I was there. Do you, well, still, it was too rich. Do you still have that picture, Dave? Of course yeah, I do. It's on his uh, Flickr. Is that what it is? Probably. Yeah, I was uh, Flickr stalking you mm. the other week. What can I say? The sexiest cousin I've ever met. It's pretty intense. Wait, so this is your TV show right now? And of course, the other major thing that has happened uh, between then and now is Christmas. Ginger, you look so cute. You got your thunder jacket on. <laughs> Ginger. I got some really cool stuff for Christmas. I will talk about one thing in particular uh, a bit later. Also, I got tickets for the Music as a Weapon tour. which apparently is coming to the WVU Coliseum. So that means uh, Seven Dust, Disturbed, Corn, and In This Moment in Morgantown. So of course I got the best freaking seats I could. And it's going to be awesome. Uh, but when I did go home for Christmas, uh, I told my mom that I was going to watch uh, Gran Torino with her, which is of course Clint Eastwood's uh, latest film, and I think she got a little too into it. Get off of my lawn. Oh, uh, sorry. You're acting kind of funny. <sighs> Just take your gift and get out of here. All right, well, Merry Christmas. So I'm going to talk briefly about one of the gifts I got for Christmas from my parents, which is awesome. It's called the SodaStream Genesis, and essentially it's a device for you to make soda and other carbonated beverages at home. Most of their drinks are knockoffs of uh, commercially available drinks. Compare to Mountain Dew, compare to Dr. Pepper, uh, etc. They have 30 flavors total. Uh, I've tried a few of them. Their uh, knockoff Diet Cola is not so great. Their knockoff... Mountain Dew is alright. Their knockoff Red Bull, which actually says compared to Red Bull on the paper thingy, 
is awesome. It actually tastes almost exactly like Red Bull. So uh, I'm going to show you how, how I do. This is how I do. Uh, basically, this is one of the bottles they give you. They give you two of these. I filled it to the line with uh, just tap water. So all you do is stick it up here. Screw it up onto that. Give it some pushes. Do you hear that little sound it makes? It says do, get it to do that three times and it's properly carbonated. It scares the dogs. Anyway, so we're all carbonated now. You'll hear it uh, again. It does that. As you can see, it looks very carbonated. That's because it is. The best part, though, isn't just that you're making fresh soda at home. Check this out. This is an example of one of the uh, soda mixes you can buy. This is a full-size one. Uh, as you can see, the price tag... If it'll focus. price tag is $5. This is $5 worth of soda. How much would that normally get you? But with this, it makes 58-ounce servings, which is 12 liters. Um, for five dollars uh, and the other cool thing is it's made with part sugar and part Splenda so as you can see the sugar content it, eight grams of sugar per serving Mountain Dew's like 44 45 so is Pepsi so it still has the caffeine it still has some of the sugar but it's it's made with Splenda too so it's cheap it's good for you and it's delicious so all you do is uh, pour some fake Red Bull flavor there, stop, and it says to slowly pour it in here. Whoa. Give it a quick gentle mix. Very gentle, very gentle. As you can see, the color is now very much like Red Bull, and the smell is very much like Red Bull, and it's carbonated, and I mean, this is the final test. It's delicious. So, thank you, Mom and Dad. I can now make 12 liters of Red Bull for $5. Dave discusses money. If time is money, is an ATM a time machine? This has been Dave Discusses Money.